yo what's up guys it's your boy jerry graphic design here i believe you all are doing great once again merry christmas and happy new year in advance i believe we all are enjoying our holidays um a quick tutorial on today's tutorial i'm going to show us how we can design this particular poster flyer with our smartphone and bigzilla bed dt uh, i don't want to waste much of your time here let's head to bigzilla all right so here we are in bigzilla uh first of all what we need to do is to set out our image size so i'm going to my image size all right i use uh 1142 for the width then for the height i leave it the way it is that's how i use the image size then i click ok then i make use of um, a white background a white background a white background a white background this is the background that i use then what i do next is i go to my plus and then go from gallery and then i import a logo um i import this logo and then i reduce the size then i bring out this roller to ensure that it's aligned all right then i position it here uh let me bring it down a little bit cool that should be okay then i lock it i have done that what I will do next is I will go to um, text. Let's go to text. Then I will tap in the name of the church, uh, which is the apostolic. So uh, capitalize this, the apostolic, apostolic church. All right, cool. And then I will click OK. And then I will position it here. Uh, what i'll do next is i'll go to my phones then uh i'll go here i think the phones is not here that is a phone that i use mm. okay let me just go with this that should be okay and then uh what i will do next is i'll go to colon then i will click on plus sign then i'll drag this here then i'll take this one to the right hand and then i'll click okay to make it a little bit darker then I will reduce the size again a little. Cool. Then I will position it here. Now on this note, I will take this logo to uh, adjust it to the left hand side a little bit because there is a right up that I want to add again. Cool. That is okay. Have we done that? The next note I will do is I will go to my text again. Then um, on this note, I will tag. I want to use the uh, the location, all right. Then I will click done, okay. Then make it one line. Then reduce the size. Cool. I think that should be okay. Then uh, go to plus sign. Just make the color dark a little bit. And then click okay. Then I uh, will position it here. Cool, I think that should be okay. I haven't done that. The next thing that I want to do, I want to bring out a ship. So I'll go to my ship, then I will give it a, let me see. I'll give it this particular color, then I will crop it here. I'll crop it, position it here like this. Cool, and then I will mark it. Then take it close a little. Okay, that's what I want to do. I haven't done that. The next thing that I'll do is I'll go to uh I'll go to my text again. I'll go to my text again, then I will just bring out this um what do you call it? Let's say sorry, follow us on Facebook. Alright, I want to join this together then bring up the uh social media handle sorry i want to put an okay then media 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 all right then click done then i will i will reduce the size then i will position it here now on this note i want to give this a phone i will only give that follow us i will give that so for you to give that you need to uh watch it here give only that a phone i hope you guys are seeing what i'm doing 
all right then i will give you this one then i will both only both only that one follow us on facebook still do the same to board it then uh for the color uh we only give that follow us this color uh which color which color which color okay i'll give it this color then i'll click okay again then for the social media undo i will make it darker a little bit so click on the plus sign sorry that's not what i want okay that's not what i want that's not what i want okay then give it a black all right then drag it like this then click ok cool now let's let's reduce the size a little bit okay having done that the next thing that i want to do now is i want to bring out a shape so i'll go to my shape now turn the results to 100 then i will click ok then what i will do next is i will go to texture then click and then import the uh design that i want to use this is what i want to use then i will open it here like this just like that that should be okay then i will mark it uh what i will do next is um i give this a a stroke i give this a stroke then i give it i make it 15 15 the stroke is 15 then i uh what did i do next i give it a shadow cool that's actually what i did then i go to offset y then um on this note i make it 15 also then for the blue radios i think i make it 25 all right then i mark it that's what i did here then i do the size a little bit then i post position it here what i do next is i go to um my text again i go to my text again then first time harvest 20 24 then i click ok then i make it a three line cool that's what i did then i go to my phones now each of these word comes with different phones so what i did is I sorry for that sorry for that so i go to my phones then i i just give only this first name a phones um what phone did i give it no Okay, I think good. We can go with this. Then I will still go to the phones again. Then on this note, I will just give only. I will give only harvest. I think I make a mistake for that first one. Let me come back again. Okay, that's the phone that I use. Uh, then for the harvest, I will also give it another phone. I will give it this one, then I will click OK. And then for 20, I will still go to phones again. Then for 2024, I will still give it another phone, which is I will just go with this. Then i will position it here then go to my alignment give it this put it at the center alignment then click ok now what i would do here is um i will still give this a color but before then let me bring out the shape turn the radius to 100 uh well, sorry let me go to edit then uh a color that is the color that i use green okay that is the color that i use so i will take this down let it be under this then i will change the color of this text 
so i will first change the color of the first time first team sorry i will change the color of that to white i will change it to white like this cool and then i will mark it i will still go to the color again then i will only give uh harvest a color which is i will give this i will give it to i will give it this color all right then mark it sorry let me cancel it first i made a mistake here okay cool then i will mark it then i will still give 2024 white color all right cool that's what i actually did then i increase the size i increase the size then i position it and then for the shape i i give this a stroke i give it a white i give it a white stroke which is i make it 15 15 then i'm marking then i go to shadow i give the shadow same way i give that make it 100 and then for this one make it 15 as well uh i think i made a mistake here 15 cool then i click ok then what i did next is i just set this text um just set it yeah then let me see if i can increase the size a little bit Cool. Having done that, I match it together, match the text, and then match this shape together, match it together, and then I position it here. All right. I hope you guys are following. I position it here. Cool. Then let's lock this first so that uh, it will not interrupt us. All right. Good. The next thing that I did is I bring out a shape. I bring out a shape. Then uh, what I do here, I give it a radius. I give it a radius then um, this is the color that I use let me see if I can increase this radius cool let's let's leave it at 50 all right then I mark it then I position it here like this then let it be at the back like this cool then let it be on by here all right then i lock it uh i lock it like this cool the next thing that i do is i bring out um the text i bring out the text oh uh let, let me double tap this let me finish with this first i double tap this then i go to edit then uh change the color to white i change the color to white then i go to texture again uh which one did i use here okay this is the one that i use let me see if i can rotate this okay then mark it cool that's what i actually did here. and then i expand it a little bit like this then position it here like this cool then i lock it i haven't done that the next thing that i did is i bring out the text um i bring out the text which says harvest of no need to capitalize this all right harvest of restoration restoration cool then click ok and then position it here now on this note i make this two line i make it a two line then i position it here like this then i give it a color which is this then i bold it so i didn't use fonts on this i just bold this bold it like this cool then uh reduce the size a little a little make it 50 50 should be okay then um let me see if i can take it up a little cool then the next thing that i do is i bring out a text again there is a text that i copy so i'll just place it because i don't want to waste much of your time here sorry i think the text didn't copy just place this text and then i will delete this Cool. then i'll click on done then reduce the size then position it 
here on the downside here like this let's reduce the size again cool then I position it like this then what I did is I copy it again copy it again and then I place the second text then I click OK then bring it down cool then ensure that they are at the same alignment cool that should be okay then uh, I go to shape again then turn the radius to 100 take the opacity to 0 then I give it a stroke then uh, I give it this color then I reduce the size then I place it on the downside here take it down okay cool that's what I did on the downside and then on the upside I go to my shape again then give it a radius I give it a radius I give it the radius then I mark it this way then I go to uh, what do we call it texture and then I give it this cool that's what I actually did here then I position it here like this let me reduce the size a little then I position it here, then take it back, click on back to back, so take it back, then I position it here. What I did next is I go to, um, I just, let's just copy this, double tap this, then go to check texture, delete this, then go to edit, then give it this color. This is the color that I used here, then as well, I, I take this back as well, so take it back, then just position it here. okay cool this is actually how i achieve this uh poster flyer if you check it with the one that is on the thumbnail guys they are the same thank you for watching and god bless you please if you have any tutorial in mind that you want me to drop do it to drop a comment in the comment section i will surely attend to you see you in the next tutorial